Hey guys, welcome back to Hit Me Wicket. Today we're doing a bit of a different video. Naba uh, messaged me the other day and was asking for me to change his grip. Unbelievable, he's been playing cricket for like 15 years probably. Still doesn't know how to change his grip. Uh, so I thought I'd do a quick video, because uh, it's actually amazing how, so, how a lot of people don't actually know uh, how to change their grip. Uh, I even got asked this the other day uh, for the team that I'm playing for. Um, but yeah, so uh, I guess uh, a few things we'll need. Obviously, firstly, uh, your new grip. So obviously grips come in different sort of shapes and sizes. You can sort of uh, pick whatever grip uh, you fancy. Um, in this case, looks like an octopus grip here. Uh, this is probably the main tool that, you, that I use usually, which is just a batting cone. I'm sure a lot of most people have seen this. Uh, maybe you have seen it, you don't know how to use it. So that's the case, this video is for you. And then we have the existing bat here, which you can see uh, the grip is pretty banged up. Uh, and others use that quite a fair bit. It's quite torn there. there. And actually, most of the grippage is actually completely smooth here from batting. So uh, first step, what I'll do is I'm going to remove this uh, grip. So do that quite simply. Usually it's best to just uh, roll this out which is what I'll do. It does take a bit of physical strength and body weight to push the new grip down, which I will go through. And even like taking off the old grip can be a bit of a pain sometimes, but I usually find you just get some leverage behind it and just like rip it off like that, roll it off. And you can see that grip's actually really falling apart. I haven't seen that before. You can see it's really crumbling. Um, so that's something new i guess that i haven't seen and yeah got nice and clean this particular bat does have like a little sticker thing here with the model which is kind of different so yeah this is an empty bat without the grip you can see so just the handle on its own um, so that step is pretty much done removing which is you know, step one step two is you have uh, the batting uh, cone and grip and usually what i do is i slide this over like so, as uh, low as you can get it, and uh, and <laughs> and then I uh, just uh, roll it up. So usually I can uh, leave it nice and level like that, and then just sort of roll it up. Have you find easier? So roll, 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 roll it all the way up to the top till you get it off, and then you quite simply invert this and feed it back down like so. Then you roll it down again. So keep rolling down, keep rolling down, all the way to the bottom. So as it gets lower, is when you gotta probably use a bit more effort to get it over the next roll. We'll keep doing that. Try roll it a bit further down if I can before I jump up, jump it onto the bat. That's probably a good amount. Usually when you get into the metal uh, part of the batting can, sort of get it there. So that's pretty, pretty good position to be in before you clip it on to the bat. Um, so at this point is when you go back to uh, your bat, simply slide this over like this. In this case, actually the handle is quite big. The top part has got a counterweight. So it's actually like kind of just fits on. Um, usually handles are a bit smaller. So this usually fits on pretty easily. But pretty much, I just gotta have to have this in line as I slide the grip over. So, if I just do that, what I'll do, sometimes it's easier to do it while you're standing. You can sunny your arm and just push it over like that. So now you have it uh, on the bat, which is, you know, the hard part is mostly done. You just gotta, we just gotta roll it all the way down, bring it back up and then just level it out, which is quite simple. So we'll just do that. Try and get it as low as you can. Just makes it a bit easier when you're adjusting it later. For my case, I got a bit closer. I'll probably just leave it like that and then I will adjust it afterwards. So I'll have to probably pull this down and just fix that up a bit. And the thing is, if you're not happy with the initial run, which often does happen, you can roll it down and pull it up again and again until it just pulls out the rubber that you have. If you have excess rubber, 
over here, which in this case I have a little bit, which I will try to do that now. So I might just go down, try to get that excess out. So this is often some of the issues that you have here, where you have like a clump of rubber here, and yeah, you should be. And, and if it is like too bad, what you can do, you can just undo it again and redo it, which uh, like is, is also a method of fixing it. Usually I find that you don't really need to do that. Usually you can just adjust it by just pulling your fingers because you need to get the grip usually a little bit lower anyway to put the tape around the base. So I'll probably just try to do that. And then what I'll do is I'll just roll this try to get a bit of that clump that I have here out. So keep doing that again and again. Yeah, yeah. See, that's, see how I did that to get a nice a lot flatter here? Just try and do a little bit more here. Try to get rid of that kink. See, that's that looks really good now. So I'm pretty happy with that. All I can, all I need to do now is just roll it up all the way. And again, because this bat's a little bit different, it's got a counterweight at the top. It's a little bit pain to put the grips on, but usually most normal handles don't have this counterweight on it. And actually, it looks like because of the counterweight, it actually doesn't have too much excess on top. But what often happens sometimes, which it's not happening at this time because there's some fluke it hasn't, um, is that the rubber usually tends to be a little bit excess on the top. And to put it down, basically you just hold this and pull, push down with this hand and keep tapping the top. And as you tap it, it'll drop down. But in this case, I'm actually very lucky that I got the grip on, with apart from the excess here, it's actually pretty good to be honest. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, just finishing touches, I don't have any tape with me now. Usually you just put some tape around here, um, just to finish it off. Sometimes to put them put tape, I usually like to put on just as a finishing touch because the bats usually come like that from the factory. Alright, so just to summarize that, uh, in three, a uh, few steps I guess. Uh, so first step, obviously remove the grip. Second step, we use the grip cone. So we place the grip through the grip cone. You have to roll it upwards and then flip it and then feed it back in. So you can roll it down all the way. Uh, to the end of the uh, batting cone and I guess the final step really is placing it over the bat and just sliding it all the way down and doing your final adjustments so once you get to the bottom you pull it all the way up if you need to adjust from the top you can tap up you can tap from the top and pull the rubber down to adjust if you have excess here you can quite simply roll it back down and pull it up again uh, just to clear out that um, again, this was a, this doesn't usually happen where it comes so clean so quickly. Usually there's kinks and I have excess here, but that's some fluke, obviously, uh, it's actually come out really good. Um, yeah, that's pretty much a summary of how to do a grip. Pretty straightforward. Let's take a little bit of practice to get them, get them on quickly. Uh, but it's a necessary skill, I think, uh, you know, grips always get torn and stuff. So usually these days you always have to do that at least once a season, usually, or maybe uh, even more so if you have more volume in the nets. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. But till next time, see you guys later.